So NSAID stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And this is a class of medications that we often find over the counter, things like Motrin, naproxen, aspirin. And these are things that a lot of us take without giving it a second thought. So, you know, a lot of us in the chronic urticaria community experience chronic joint pain. So you may be taking those over-the-counter pain relievers you know, to help with that joint pain, or you may be taking them for severe menstrual cramps. The thing about NSAID medications is that they are very damaging to the gut lining. And a lot of us already probably have very damaged gut lining. If you do take an NSAID medication, make sure you're taking it with food, but they're really not meant to be taken long-term. You actually have an enzyme in your gut called DAO, well, DAO for short, I cannot pronounce the name, so, but it's DAO, and that is an enzyme that actually helps clear up excess histamines as you're eating your food, as you're digesting your food. So if you don't have enough of this enzyme, that can cause histamine intolerance, which can cause hives or contribute more to your hives. My immunologist, when I was first diagnosed with chronic idiopathic urticaria, which now is known as chronic spontaneous urticaria, they are the same disease, that's important to know. Um, he told me to treat NSAID medications as an allergy and never to take them again. He was very adamant about that. I did give him a little bit of pushback because I have experienced chronic joint pain since I was a teenager, and I've also had very severe menstrual cramps. So I am no stranger to NSAID medications. I take them all the time. He said, no, no, absolutely not. He said, you are at higher risk for an anaphylactic reaction. Even if you have taken NSAID medications many, many times before, you are still at a higher risk for an anaphylactic reaction. Um, he was very adamant about that. And I'm not saying that you're going to have an anaphylactic reaction. Nobody can know that. And that's where the risk versus benefit comes in. It's a discussion to have with your doctor. My doctor, as I said, recommended against them. He put and said in my medical chart as an allergy. He insisted I treat it as an allergy and stay away from those medications. If you are in a chronic urticaria support group like the one that I run, you will see if you use a little search feature and you type NSAID medications, you can see a lot of people that do have reactions as anaphylaxis to these medications despite taking it without any issues many times prior. So keep that in mind. Like I said, have that discussion with your doctor. Obviously, don't stop taking medication that your doctor has recommended, but it's something to consider. If this is a piece of the puzzle for you, maybe you take NSAID medications regularly, and maybe if you stop taking them, you can give your gut a little bit of time to heal, and perhaps your symptoms will lessen. Um, just something to consider. And this is just one piece of the puzzle. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments, do you take NSAID medications? Have you reacted to them? Have you had this discussion with your doctor? I'd love to know. All right, take care.